Welcome back, everybody. It's Rusty Money here on PlayStation Network and Rusty Money Gaming on YouTube. We're here for another episode of my kind of survival series here on Black River called Surviving Black River. But uh, we started on a piece of forest ground and minimal equipment, minimal money. And the object is, is I want to buy the quarry and the main farm and then move to the new farm. So, hope you all have been enjoying the series so far. I have been enjoying what I'm doing with it. I'm not sure how much I like the map yet, but I really uh, am enjoying the gameplay anyway of how I got this set up. Now I'm just working at finishing up a cultivating contract here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just working at finishing up a cultivating contract here and um, did some contracts off camera. Did several fertilizing contracts and several uh, cultivating contracts all below. Uh, five thousand dollars i think the highest paid one i did was about three thousand and it was for cultivating but we have the money up to twenty six thousand six hundred nine dollars i did sell a load of about four thousand liters of grapes and got myself a little bit of money from the from or not grapes or olives i mean from our olive tree our silage bunker is all fermented, so it is time to move that silage to the silo and wait to sell that, or maybe sell it uh, on occasional loads uh, when we need money. Right now, I'm interested in going buying a piece of new equipment uh, that's going to help us out here on the farm. And I've tested that piece of equipment off camera to see if my little 100 horsepower tractor here can pull it. And it, it can. Um, also, I upgrade this tractor to 130 horsepower. I can also fast farm with it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we even do that or not. But, anyway, uh, yeah, just finishing up this cultivating contract here against this, oh, this, uh, oh, what do you call that? <laughs> I can't think of solar panel. Uh, power plant there um, I checked that area out a little bit walked around it off camera uh, just because it makes a lot of buzzing noise so um, I didn't want to do that while I was trying to record and have you listen to all that high pitch buzzing there's no collectibles over there though so nothing that's gonna help us anyway but we almost got this cultivated to meet the contract requirements and then we can head on back over to the farm probably gonna roll into the next day just to see what is in the used sales before we move along here contracts at 92 percent completed right now so we're almost done with this contract we can collect on it and make a couple extra dollars anyway that will be beneficial here to what we're doing and what we need money for should be about a completed contract I would think pretty close to it anyway all right a contract is complete let's take this down to the end of the field and we will uh, collect on this contract and the farmer can uh, then finish out the field here we we've, we've met the requirement for what needs done for what we're getting paid for 
All right, let's lift that up and fold it. Let's collect it. We'll just show you a little bit of what we got done here in statistics as well. All right, well, right now in the crop calendar, we can plant wheat or barley. I haven't decided what I'm going to plant yet, or we can plant more grass. And there is our silo, 6,922 liters of wheat, 7,678 liters of oats, 12,000 liters of olives, 3,000 liters of seeds, 78,193 liters of straw, 378 liters of diesel, and then we have 1,139 liters of lime, and that is it. Nothing else in there. We still owe the bank $145,000. No animals yet. We're going to collect on this contract $2,030. We could do some of them harvesting contracts, but I haven't done any harvesting contracts. Uh, we can only do the ones that are 5,000 or less, so there is some we could do, but I'm not going to do them right now. Um, our olive tree production, the one that's got seeds and manure and fertilizer in there, is doing pretty good. And our other olive tree that just got water right now is, is still producing statistics um, we've cut down 140 trees I've done 19 missions and almost have 74 hours on this gameplay two years played and only collected one collectible so far so that's what's going on here now let's get on back up over to the farm and um, we need to uh, venture over uh, and get some rest and uh, go into the next day and uh, see what we can maybe purchase from the store. So we'll see you back over at the farm, everybody. Welcome back everybody. Well, here we are at the farm. You can see we need to get that field taken care of. That's all weeds in there. We got one field already, but uh, we'll show you this area because we have kind of changed the look of those fields. Um, they're not complete because we don't got the crop or anything in the ground yet, so there is still some weeds and um, yeah they just don't look like normal fields well let's uh, let's go look at all that there so you can see here my field that looked like the state of Nebraska I joined with my little field that was in the middle so we got a little bit of a what would you say like a backwards L <laughs> shape field right there and then I extended this field um, right here, extended this a little bit up against the trees. Those are all the trees I have left to harvest. So it looks like uh, we got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, about 13 trees or so left there to cut. And then what I did was, is this little grass field right next to the silage bunker, I went ahead and joined with this field. And this field, I think, will be my main grass field. I'm going to put this all to grass. So I'm going to plow it in after I get this next harvest off of uh, what is here already grown. I'm going to plow it all in, put new seed in the ground. And then we'll have three crop fields. This one right here, this little one over here, and then this one over here. So I think that's the plan. And then, of course, if I decide to put down any buildings or anything, we'll do it in this area right here next to my where my forage wagon is. But that's the plan. Right now we're going to go in the old cabin and we're going to get some shut-eye. 
Well, welcome back, everybody. We're into the next morning. It's a bright, sunshiny day as the sun is rising over there on the other side of the hilltops. And uh, we got $28,575, and our grass here is ready to harvest again, it looks like. So we'll be getting that harvested and then plowing in these fields and deciding what crops we're going to put where, I think. But uh, we'll probably get started on mowing these fields, uh, possibly a little off camera, on camera. But the first thing we're going to do is we need to take a look at used sales. So we need to go get ourselves a hot cup of coffee and uh, figure out what we're going to do for the day. All right, well, there we go. Let's go over here to the table and sit down and look at the classified ads and, and what's up for sale and all that good stuff. Well, here is our used vehicles, an old Volvo Globetrotter truck, which we don't need, don't have enough money for. We do have enough money for that slurry and digestate tank, but we don't really need that. And we don't need that big uh, forage mixer there. And uh, this power harrow or cultivator, it looks like. So that is what's in used sales. Nothing that is going to help us. So let's look at uh, let's look at some contracts. Still harvesting contracts. There is a plowing contract for $4,403. You know what? We might just accept that. Let's accept that. And we are gonna, we are now gonna go buy our new piece of equipment, I think. So, let's get in the old tractor here. We're gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna keep this old little plow, I think, around the farm for right now. But let's go. Let's go on up towards the store. We're also going to trade something in. I, I got a phone call from our friend, uh, Towboat Fish. And uh, Towboat Fish uh, has made arrangements for a, uh, a big old barge to come rolling in and uh, picking up this forage wagon here. And he's going to be delivering it for me over to another piece of land in, in the farming simulator globe. And uh, we got to go deliver this piece of equipment here to another fellow farmer. And we're going to go um, buy ourselves a new one. Uh, another one that holds about another, oh, three to four thousand liters than what this one does, I believe. So, we'll go up to the store here and make those purchases. So, we'll see you at the store, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Well, as you can see, we got $11,354, and we're already on that plowing contract. I made a little bit of a recording error and forgot to record when we are up at the store, which it's usually difficult to record at the store anyway on this map because it plays music and then I don't want any copyright violations from YouTube, so um, that's why you usually have a time lapse and uh, I turn the in-game volume down and then add music. 
That's why you've never seen me talk or anything while at the store. Because this map has different kinds of sounds and music playing on it on different areas of the map. Also, I have just noticed, too, that there's some decorations on this map um, that appear at certain times of the year. For instance, I'll show you right now one of them. Um, one of them, if you remember right, uh, in an earlier episode, there was a broke-down truck right here on this side of the road. And that broken-down truck is gone. There's no uh, construction cones around it or nothing. It's not here no more. So certain things on the map must uh, appear at certain times and then reappear again. So that's kind of cool. That's the first one I've noticed. I haven't had anything else stick out at me but that one thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we bought this, uh, this here case plow. And I'm going to keep my other small plow for now. And uh, we also bought our new forage wagon as... Uh, we had contact with the dealership here on Black River, and they knew of a customer that was looking for a smaller forage wagon. So we traded in our smaller forage wagon and purchased a little bit bigger one that holds 13,000 liters and sold our forage wagon that holds, I think it was 7,000 something or 8,000 something. And, uh, I got a hold of my friend Towboat Fish, and Towboat Fish was calling in a ship from the shipyards along the Mississippi, and he also knows some other ships that travel around the globe, so he was going to line us up a ship to deliver that uh, forage wagon to the new owners in a different area of the farming simulator globe. And then he also made arrangements with Triple T Farms, also known as White Blur Gaming. And Triple T Farms is, uh, Triple T Farms, Triple T Trains, known as White Blur Gaming. Triple T Trains is helping out with the delivery too, I got told, so... Thank you to both Triple T Trains and Towboat Fish for lining up things, and... And then I got my buddy Farmer Cop, too, on standby, too, because we're going to need maybe some traffic control when we make the delivery. So, thank you to Farmer Cop, too, if I need you. So, we'll be making that delivery here sometime later. And uh, we'll show you our new forage wagon then. And this, this here plow, this here plow, everybody, requires a lot of horsepower. And we only got 100 horsepower. And this old John Deere's pulling it with no problem. Now, you can also fast farm with this plow. But we don't have the right attachments for it yet. But I think since we're on this big field here and uh, I got to take a break in recording everybody and get ready to head out to go move my daughter home from college or move her stuff home from college I should say because she won't be moving home until later this next week. But we're going to go pick up some of her stuff today. But i got to take a break in recording here and this is an awful large field for this plow. So I'm probably going to jump cut this uh, contract out. You'll see that we should end up with around $15,000 or so. Uh, I will try to remember to make sure to collect on the contract at least uh, when I go to start recording again. But I hope you all have enjoyed this so far and we'll be back with you momentarily. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we were called by our friend Towboat Fish to come down here to the shipyard and 
have contact with him, but he just left his dock right here. And he is headed on off down the Black River into the upper Mississippi. Um, he made arrangements with the barge, he said, to, to uh, connect up with um, in regards to getting our forage wagon sold. But uh, you will see that our money is up to just around fifteen, sixteen thousand now after that plowing contract. And Towboat Fish has instructed us that we need to get over by the sawmill. Farmer Cop is over there, and uh, he's got his drone flying around. And uh, you can watch uh, uh, watch him load up the forage wagon onto Triple T trains train company machine and uh, we got uh, trucker Joe over there uh, he's got our new forage wagon all loaded up from triple T trains and uh, gonna be delivering it to the farm so we got to get down here to our little miner truck and get over there to the sawmill and uh, let y'all watch as uh, they load up the forage wagon onto Triple T Trains unit. And then uh, they'll be delivering it over to uh, another place across the globe here in Farming Simulator. And Trucker Joe will be making a delivery to a fellow farmer. So, yeah, let's get on over to the sawmill and see what's going on with Farmer Cop and Trucker Joe and Triple T trains. So, we'll see you over there by the sawmill, everybody. Well, there goes Trucker Joe down the road again, making the delivery of our sold forage wagon. Let's see where he ends up. Man, this area looks nice. Pretty colors and nice trees and little fields. Oh, can we make it up the hill? Is Trucker Joe going to make it up the hill? Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, I see a farmyard in the distance. Hey, that kind of looks like somebody we know lives here. I think this might be the area that our friend Farm Sim Snowy lives in. Oh, I had kind of heard he was looking for a forage wagon. He wasn't really liking that hay fork he had. Let's see what Trucker Joe's doing here. Looks like Trucker Joe's trying to find a good way to get the truck into the farm there so he can get it unloaded. There we go. All right, well, looks like Trucker Joe's got the job done. Let's see. Oh, we got to watch out for the chickens. Ah, oh, there he goes. He's being careful now. Let's see. I think he's going to pull her off the side of the road. 
and unload it. Get out of the way of that tree stump there. There we go. We'll see if he can get her on off the truck here and get it delivered over there to Farm Sim Snowies. Hopefully Farm Sim Snowy can make some good use of this forage wagon. That hay fork he was using, I just heard it just wasn't, just wasn't very friendly. <laughs> he couldn't, he couldn't haul a very big load with it. There goes Trucker Joe. He's got the forage wagon in the yard now. Just putting it up here by the shed, it looks like. Well, there we go. There goes Trucker Joe putting Snowy's tractor away. And it looks like Trucker Joe is back on the road to trucking, so... He is rolling on out. Well, welcome back to the farm here, everybody. We got $15,579, and our new forage wagon was just delivered by Trucker Joe. And uh, Trucker Joe took on off out of here in a hurry, and we didn't get to really say goodbye. But uh, anyway, yeah, he's already gone, everybody. But uh, really nice of him to work with Towboat and farmer cop and triple t farms and making that delivery over there to farm sim snowy and then bringing this here to us from the dealership so thank you to farmer cop and uh triple t trains and uh trucker joe and also to uh towboat fish and uh farmer cop for providing our traffic safety so we are back at the farm. We got some plowing to do, but I really do, everybody. Hope that you enjoyed that little bit of a different creation here. And if you're curious as to how I all did all that here on PlayStation 5, what I did was I created two separate game saves. Another game save for Black River and another game save for the map called Solyndra where Farm Sims know he's been doing a vintage experience let's play so yeah had two other game saves in order to create that little uh, part of the video that you just saw and I hope you did enjoy that little bit of different uh, content I added into this series here so it didn't affect our money at all um, just a little bit of role play added in with two other game saves so our money has not uh, been affected by it at all no equipment's been affected by it at all we still have our same equipment here same hours on our equipment same everything so for instance, like this tractor, uh, even though I just repainted it and repaired it uh, when we bought the forage wagon, I had money to do that as well. Um, it has 13.1 hours on it. Uh, we did buy this from you, Sales. And uh, we're about out of fuel. But what I want to try and do now here on the farm, everybody, is I think this is probably going to be the end of this episode here. And uh, I'm going to do some field work off camera. Possibly. And then maybe in the next video. We will be uh, loading up and selling our um, silage. And finishing cutting these fields. Uh, we'll just see what happens. But I do think that... Uh, 
this will conclude this episode here as we finish plowing out this field. We got another field to plow yet at some point and figure out what crops we're going to put in. Now, I will tell you all that I believe that I'm going to try and save this field here. I'd really like to put some potatoes in the ground, so I think we're going to put potatoes in this field once we get to that point of being able to do it and have the equipment to do it. But if you've enjoyed this uh, little bit of a different episode here with myself, Rusty Money, please drop me a tasty one on that like button, which is better known by myself as a cop battery and by you all people as Delicious Donut. Don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section, and please share a box of donuts with all our friends and family by sharing the videos and the live streams from the channel. But for myself, Rusty Money, we will see you all on the flip side, everybody. Have a good one.